Here's another one. Just another one that I've never, ever, ever, and it's short, not very long, that I've never, ever seen or played. Here's another one in G minor that I've, uh, I've never seen, never played. Okay, so I'm looking at see the G minor again. Um, I see, I'm looking visually, I see some unisons. Now that means that the treble and the bass are playing the same notes at the same time. So that's going to be an easier sight read at the beginning. And I'm, I'm looking, the visualization is very important. I'm seeing some parallel thirds coming down in measure three. So, you know, I, I think I can navigate through those. Um, I see some a little bit of difficult intricate passage work in the left hand is like a little bridge. Then I see a come back to the unisons in the both hands. That means the same notes. You can say that they're an octave apart. And then I see lots of repetition here. Okay, so the second page looks a little bit harder because there's some development, it looks like, of the beginning um, part and um, modulation. Development involves going into different keys. This looks a little harder than the other one, but I'm going to go slow. I'm going to try not to look down at my fingers. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim the camera down at myself so you can actually see that I'm not looking at my. Let's see if I can do this in such a way that you can see that little bit of me and my head and that I'm not looking at my fingers. I'm going to pull this back a bit. I don't know if this is going to work because I don't want to block out the keyboard either. Okay. Let's we'll see if this works. Okay. So, I'm putting myself on the chopping block here. So, see unisons at the beginning. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I'm sight singing a little bit. Da -da -da. Accidentals that creep in. I really need to, in my mind, and this what also helps me, is kind of know if I'm going to a dominant of another key and to its tonic, like a secondary dominant. So I kind of have to know visually when I'm looking and feeling that there's some harmonic underpinning that helps me get through it. I'm going to go a little slower here and see if I can feel through the harmonies here. It's a sequence. It's a 
dominant of C minor, C minor, and this is the melodic going up. This is dominant of B flat. Sequence. a sight read was, it, but still it, it was still a surface kind of thing because if I was to learn this piece, I would I would take the sections that aren't the unisons and see the the voice and what's happening with each voice. But I think the tricky part for me was the top, and let's see why. <laughs> to start practicing it to, to fine-tune it. 